Hey guys, I just got the new, uh, well, it's not new, but I got the uh, DJ Phantom 2. Uh, I just picked it up for 550 bucks. So I'm about to go side, outside and test it right now. We'll see how it goes. All right, hey guys, so I am outside right now with my DJ Phantom 2. Now, I'm not probably gonna be able to get it all the way up, but I do wanna kinda give it like a height test, and like I said, there, well I didn't say it, but there are regulations on how high you can fly these. Uh, I'm not even supposed to be flying these within uh, five miles of an airstrip, which I am five miles from. Um, I'm within five miles, so I shouldn't even be flying it, but I kinda wanna do a height test, uh, so we're gonna give that a try. Now in case anybody was wondering, we did try it out. I bought these, uh, blade guards they're for a dj phantom 3 uh but i wanted to see if it worked for a dj phantom 2 uh so we we purchased them and it turns out they do work so we're gonna give those a try today as well So for a quick review of the DJ Phantom 2, I thought it was a great purchase. It definitely gets high enough for anybody that's using this for recreational use. As you saw from the height test, definitely good enough for doing some scenery shots of your area or stable enough, it's very stable to follow somebody down the road. I just kind of want to use it for like maybe some scenery shots or chasing people on a longboard. Definitely perfect for those uses. Like I said, good height and good stability. I was surprised that when I let go of the controls, it stayed at a certain elevation too or uh, height. I didn't really get to mess with the GPS at all. But I'm sure once I get to work with those functions, it, it's going to be a lot better. As you can see, I also did mount right here a little GoPro uh, mount just using the 3M adhesive. And if you place it center onto the DJ, it doesn't really screw up any of the flight controls at all or the stability. So I did mount a GoPro on there. Now I did also have a gimbal on this. And during one of the videos that you saw out in the woods when uh, it hit a tree, the gimbal did break which I can just replace it by buying a new one, so that's not bad. But I did place a new uh, mount like this one right here under the back side of the DJ Phantom. Uh, and I placed mine in the center, which I shouldn't have done. Uh, as you saw, you can see the, the legs of the DJ in one of the high tests. Uh, if you're ever gonna do this, the battery protrudes on the back side of the DJ a little bit. So for centering, you're gonna wanna place the adhesive of the GoPro mount towards the front of the uh, DJ, I placed mine in the center thinking about um, weight, uh, trying to keep the GoPro in the center, center of gravity, but I did forget that the battery protrudes a little, so you want to place it a little higher up. A, it's going to keep your legs of the DJ out of your shot, and B, if you have to use this method, uh, it also just keeps it more stable. So that's definitely something to take into consideration when doing this. Now, if you do buy a DJ for yourself, make sure you get these blade guards right here. These that I bought right here are for a DJ Phantom 3, but I did uh, just buy them and try them on to see if it'd work, and it does turn out that they will work on a DJ Phantom 2, and I'm sure they make DJ Phantom 2 blades, but if they don't have them, at least you know the 3 works. Uh, but buy these blades. These definitely save your propellers. Now, it doesn't really stop any debris from coming from the bottom or the top, but it'll definitely save you from ramming into walls. I know I put a cut into the wall earlier, and in one of the videos you saw I hit the wall. And it also comes with, you can't, I don't know if you can see right here, but there's a string that goes across uh, between them. And that also helps a little bit in case you hit like a wall at a corner or anything like that. So definitely invest into that if you do it. Because like I said in one of my uh, vlogs, DJ Phantom is a great use of footage uh, for filming. Um, sometimes I like to use it as a toy, but these things aren't toys. If you break them, it's going to cost you real money. I already broke two blades and luckily it, the actual DJ does come with two uh, or four replacement blades. Two for, well, it comes with one for each wing. So that's a lifesaver at least. But like I said, these things aren't toys. So make sure you treat them well. 
I hope you guys liked the review. I didn't really get to do more of it, like I said, with the GPS. I apologize, but hopefully this is good enough for you. So if you guys do have any questions, let me know. If you need me to test something, I have a DJ here. I can try and test some methods of mounting or flying or whatever. So uh, just let me guys let me know what you think in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day. See you later. Bye.